All right. That's my baby right there. That's why I started with him. This is Ozzy, and we're going to find out how Mary Segay is using him in this incredible segment. And please welcome Mary. I'm so excited about this one. So we're talking about joy and yeah. generating cheer and cheerfulness. It doesn't need to cost a lot of money, especially if you like design and art. And what Mary has done is gone out and planned a whole bunch of DIYs yes. that you can do and spark some joy in your home, in your in your world. And Absolutely. we're going to be starting with your jar joy right jar. There. Your joy jar. Listen, this time of year, it's a little depressing, it can right? Be. So we're going to try to do some little things around the house that can bring us a little joy. Love right? that. So we're going to start off with our jar. I'm going to get you to do the work. Okay. Yeah, yeah. So I can sit back Boss and relax. Around, lady. Okay? We're no going to start with staining our jar with stuff that you can find at the dollar store. Okay. Right? So we're going to put some glue yeah. at the very just bottom. Pour it in? Just pour it in as much as you think. Yep, perfect. Too much? That's, a good, that's good enough. Okay. And then you're going to put some drops of food coloring in there. You can okay. pick any color food coloring you want green, blue, whatever it may be. Is that enough? A little bit more. Okay, so you it's want it vibrant. Bright. Yeah, that's good. That's good. Okay. And you're going to mix it around. <laughs> mm. Listen, if you tell me more, I'm going to go for it. Listen, I like it bright because yeah. I like it when the color comes out pink, right? Yes, exactly. So once you have it mixed, I think that's good enough. Yeah. Okay. You're going to start coating it around. So you're going to pick up the, the jar and then just spin it around until it completely coats the inside, oh. right? Oh. And okay. you got to get it into every crevice on the inside. Okay, there's an. And art I have to like this. a piece here for you, so we don't get anything on the table. Yeah, that's Once a great idea. Once you have idea. that all done, you're gonna flip it upside down, and well, let all the excess all run out. But is it? Can I flip it yet, or should I try and get because it? Because there's enough first. glue, it'll probably just drip okay. down on either side. Oh, I like that it's marble. Exactly. That's nice. So you're gonna leave it like this for about. Two <laughs> Thank you. I'll take it. Good Thank job. You. you did a good job. Thank you. We're going to leave it like this for like a couple of hours okay. until the glue dries and all the excess is out. Right. Then you're going to put it in your oven on an oven tray for about oh. 45 minutes on 200. Okay. Got and it. And once it's done, it's going to come out looking like this. Just stained slightly. So but look at so that. Pretty. You've got a gorgeously stained jar. And then what are we putting in it, Mary? I like to put in notes of joy. So okay. you can either write things that are good for you, things that you want reminders about, or yeah. you can have friends and family leave a note for you as they visit. That's nice. Which is really cute. <gasps> you are so strong and powerful. That's yeah. nice, Mary. And you can pick one up in the morning on your way out to work. Yes. And just brighten up your day before you head out there. Remember who you are before you head out there in the world and hopefully put a smile on your face and then you can put a smile on someone else's exactly. face. Remember you who you are. I'm going to add that one. First. Remember who you are. Remember who you Remember are. Who you are. Yeah, that's beautiful. I love that. And so easy and doesn't cost a lot of money. No. Okay, can we talk about my dog now? Yes. <laughs> this is a really fun project. So mm -hmm. essentially we're going to transfer this picture mm -hmm. onto a tote bag. Tote oh, bags, I love it. Everyone loves tote bags. We use them for grocery shopping, shopping, yes. whatever it is, right? They're definitely having a moment all the kids want tote bags now yeah. it's like there's not even anything special in there it's just exactly. having the tote bag right so we're gonna take our image we're just gonna print that out and then you're gonna coat it with glue so okay. I'll get you to do that so do I just like really go to town here yep we're gonna have it sorry completely coated and then you're gonna just spread it around so that the entire image is covered and do I just keep it on the image not on yes, the bag right? on the image not on the bag okay so we spread our Mod Podge did we tell them what it is it's Mod Podge? It's Mod Podge glue yeah so is there a reason why you'd want to use this glue? Uh, it's the, the type of glue it's perfect for transferring picture onto tra onto fabric okay so there's good. specific ones that you can use All I'll right. take that for you Thank and you. then you just flip make sure you put it in the exact spot that you want it to be in Ozzy where do you want to be honey <laughs> oh boy okay that's here okay. we'll do that's okay all right and then you just pat it down and you're gonna want to leave that for like a day to completely dry through okay fair okay yeah that needs some time it's nice and soaked yes and you want it soaked because that's how you get the image to transfer onto the bag got it now this might be a little bit messy, but I'm gonna show you what it looks like once it's dry. Okay. This is what we're gonna have. And the next step, once it's completely dry, is to use a rag uh -huh. and some warm water. Okay. And just drench it. Drench the back oh, of it. Oh, okay. Just drench it. Drench it. And then you can slowly start peeling it off. If it's hard to peel off, you can mm -hmm. also just like scrub the paper off with the rag and the water. Oh. It'll come off. Okay. I never believe these transfers are going to work until they work. You know the tattoo transfers I you know, put on? I know. Oh, I lived for those. Those were, it's, mm. and this is just like that. Okay, more? 
That's good. Okay. And then once it's dry, <coughs> not dry actually, you can start peeling it off. You see how like oh, the cool. and the paper comes off, but the image stays on the bag. Yeah. Right. And if it's a little hard to get the paper off, like I said, you can use the towel or the rag or whatever to start scrubbing it off. Oh, that's awesome. You see how that comes off so easily, though. What's so cool is that uh, Mary actually did one for us, and I just need you to see how like how so much cute. of a distinguished gentleman he looks like on this. Oh, Ben! <laughs> so Please cute. note. He is wearing an Adidas jacket and a chain because I am that kind of dog mom. I tortured him. I love it. I love it. It's such a cute picture. Very, very cool. Okay, moving right along. Uh, flowers or art? We're going to do the art. Okay, let's get right into the art because this is gorgeous. And what a great way to like give you that punch of dopamine. Exactly. So what I like to do that. with this project is reach out to some family and friends, ask them to send me some words that describe me Aww. so that I can remember how people see me instead of, you know, sometimes you get down about yourself yeah, yeah and this tea is actually words that have been sent to me by those that you work with your team oh my so this gosh. is actually about you oh it's me i'm like because i could say yes funny hilarious kind queen thank you you're welcome that's very nice so when you print it out on paper you want to invert the picture because okay. once you transfer it in like you can even see it on the background it'll come out like like this. Got it. Okay. So we do so the same thing it? that we did with the bag. Yeah. We're gonna turn it over onto the side with the color, coat it in glue. Yep. Place it where you want it. Let it dry. Coat it with water and then take off the paper, and you just have a transfer onto canvas. Look at that beautiful piece of art you get. You can put that anywhere in your home, and you just remind yourself of who you are whenever you need that hit. Mary, thank you so much. You oh, you could got also one. just print it and frame it if you want. Oh, that is so nice. <laughs> T is for all oh, generous, vibrant, smart. Go on. Just this is beautiful.